Ladies and gentlemen, I take this moment to thank the Lord Jesus Christ who has made it possible in our generation that we can be able to share this glorious gospel through our social media. And ladies and gentlemen, without taking any other time, allow me to share with you the story of Lazarus the beggar and the rich man. And this story was recorded in St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 16, from verse 19 up to 31. And this story is a true story. And let me read it for you, that you may know that what I'm sharing with you is something which is true. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fired some t-shirts every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime received thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot. Neither can they pass to us that will come from thence. Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. For I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them, from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lord answered the story of this man who was in hell. The scripture tells us in John chapter 3 verse 16 that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Oh yes, this son of God was crucified and he was laid on the cross and he was buried and on the third day he rose from the dead. Ladies and gentlemen, God answered the rich man's prayer who was in hell and he sent someone who rose from the dead that you may believe. Now I'm asking you a question. Do you believe? Do you believe on Jesus? Because Jesus rose from the dead. And he came as an answer from the rich man's prayer, which he prayed in hell. Where he begged, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. 
and send someone from the dead who will go and testify to my brother, to my family, about the kingdom of heaven. Yes, that person who came from the dead is Jesus. And is calling you to repent for your sins that you may enter into the kingdom of God. You need to repent. You need to repent for your sins because you were a sinner and I am a sinner. The Sikupia tells us that we are sinners, that we have all sinned and came short of God's glory. So we need to repent. You need to repent so that you may receive the gift of the eternal life. God loved you. God answered the prayer of this man so that you may have eternal life. Ladies and gentlemen, this is serious. You need to repent for your sins. Because someone who was in hell knew what was in hell and you cried that you may not go where he is. And God had his prayer and sent his only begotten son to save you, to testify to you about the kingdom of heaven. Repent for your sins now and receive the gift of the eternal life. God bless you.